Okay, I think we're live. No? Maybe. Oh, here we are. Okay. It's never entirely clear if it's working, but uh, I'll give it a shot. All right. We have six people in the chat. Probably one of them is me, so um, that's fine. That's uh, more people than I was expecting, so that's good. So, this uh, live stream is mostly for me to figure out how to use this software. Um, I'm hoping to do more of these in the future, and um, I have to figure out how to do it first. So, I see we have Angie from Australia. Hello. Thanks for joining. Um, okay. I guess we'll let a few more people accumulate in the chat. Say hi if you're in the chat right now. All right. Um, so one thing I will notice is that I know there's like a little bit of a flickering thing going on and uh, I have not figured out how to fix that. I think it may be a weird thing with my, so a weird interaction between the software and the uh, video card on my computer or something like that. So I'll have to figure this out. The other thing is that I'm running this on my laptop and uh, I don't really think you're supposed to be doing that on a laptop. At least it doesn't sound like it because the fans are kind of running very uh, hard. So uh, if the computer kind of melts down in the middle, um, you know, you'll know what happened, I guess. Uh, it'll just die. So um, I've got my microphone placed kind of above me here. So hopefully it doesn't pick up a lot of fan noise. Um, all right. Hey, Rebecca, okay, from Detroit, all right. Um, all right, I will, uh, okay, there's a lot of software here. Okay, I will get started. So what I thought I would do today in the time that I have to do this is um, do a little text processing. Uh, I feel like it's the kind of thing that, you know, doesn't require a huge amount of background knowledge and or a lot of context, and since, um, you, oh, I think you are, or most of you probably listen to the podcast, Not So Standard Deviations. I've got all these transcripts of our podcast um, here that I have essentially never really looked at. Um, and so I thought it'd be fun to just kind of take a look and, um, you know, see what's in there, <laughs> basically. Uh, I guess before I go on, can everyone hear me? Can you hear me okay? Take a drink. All right, I gotta stay hydrated for data analysis. So far, no one's complaining about the audio, so I'm gonna keep going. I know there's a delay, so it's like, I'll say something and then I'll have to wait um, for the answer, but. All right, I'm just gonna keep going until people complain. Thank you, Angie. Um, so I've got these transcripts here. You can see I've got episode one through 82. So we're up to, I think, episode 85. So not the most recent episodes, um, but almost all of them. And so I've got all these text files here. And one thing, so one thing I was thinking of, I got this idea from another podcast, was to kind of take in all of the text that, all the lines that I've spoken and um, try to kind of model them in some way, you know, using something very basic, um, and then try to generate an like a bot or an algorithm that can kind of come up with new sentences or new phrases that I might say that are kind of in the style of me. And then the idea would be, I would try to generate a bunch of those. And if they even look remotely realistic, which they probably won't, but if they do, then I could sit, I could ask Hillary, I could, I could, I could kind of present them to Hillary and ask her uh, if it's, um, it was generated by a bot or if it was actually said by me in from one of the previous episodes. So I don't actually think this is going to be successful because, um, you know, I don't think really know how to program bots that well, but um, we can at least look at some of the characteristics of the data. So um, let me pull up, I need a file here, okay. All right, so I'm in our studio now. I've, it's a blank project. I, well, it's a project called Transcripts. Uh, I've got no code or anything like that, so I'm just gonna start from scratch here. Um, uh, all right, so 
I think I'm just going to take all these files and just suck them in. Because, um, you know, why not? So uh, I need the files. So it's going to be in this text directory. And I'll get the full names. Um, and let me just save the code here. Um, let's see, NSD bot. OK. So let me pull that in and make sure there's actually things there. OK, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read in all these files. Uh, and um, uh, I guess we'll just use read lines for that. We'll just read in each text, read in all the text. OK, so um, call it text. And I'm going to L apply over all the files uh, and then read uh, lines. Right. OK, oh, that's not good. I wasn't expecting that. It says text, right? Ah, okay. Um, hmm. Probably at the end of the line, at the end of each of these files, there's like no new line. Um, and that's probably why I'm getting this warning. So, for example, if I look at episode 70, um, it'll probably be like a, there'll probably be no new line. But that's okay. So if I just take a look at this for a second. Yeah, looks like I've got everything here. Um, Hello, Hector from Los Angeles. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, as you can see, I often I'm often the one that starts. I often I basically say the same thing every time. Welcome to the not so standard deviation. So that's not like a huge surprise. Um, but it looks like I've got most things here. Okay. Now the way this tra these transcripts work um, is let me grab episode one here. Oh, that's not good. Um, one through five is that each. Basically, every time I the way that I think I think the way they do it is that every time I say something like here, for example, um, then it's all on a single line of text. So no matter how long I go on for, it's all on a single line until Hillary says something or there's a break. So now, so like every line, so I'll have a bunch of stuff on a line, uh, and then Hillary will have a bunch of stuff, and then I will, and then etc. Like that. So maybe look take, take a more recent episode here, uh, like eighty one. Oh, that's not good. Um, let's see. 78. That's not, hmm. <laughs> oh, there, I guess there's only 78 files? Hmm. Maybe I forgot to transcribe some of them. Uh, me... There's probably some story behind this, but I won't try to figure it out. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at, let's see, 75. So yeah, so roughly speaking, I think the way that, so I have a, basically I send the audio file to a company, they transcribe the podcast, and um, I think the way they do it is they put my name here. Uh, of course, if I point at the screen, you can't see it. They put my name here, I say stuff, and then they put Hillary's name, and then she says stuff, and then my name, et cetera. So I think it's, it should be relatively easy to pull out all of the lines that I speak, um, because, um, They'll all be prefaced with my name. Preface with my name here. So, I think I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to unlist this to get just a, a vector of text. Um, you can see there's 51,000 lines of text here, um, and I'm going to pull out all of my lines. So, let's be grep. Let's see. How do I do this? I'm going to grep every line. That starts with my name. I think, well, maybe should I lowercase everything first? Or should I not bother? Let's see. What do you think? Should I lowercase? It would be it probably makes sense to lowercase. I'm going to lowercase everything later anyway, right? Because when I chop the words out, I'm probably going to want to have them all lowercase because it doesn't really make a difference. Um, all right, maybe I'll. All right. What happens if I too lower it? Let's see. Am I going to regret this? Let's see. Hmm. I Probably not. That's probably fine, right? Oh, well, let's see. Hmm. All right. Got my lower. 
lowercase text here. And then I'll grab all my lines. All right, so um, grep, let's see, it begins with Roger. I probably don't, do I need the colon? I'll use the colon. Uh, it is true. So this should return all the lines that prep or start with my name. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty good. If you have suggestions, please shout them out. Otherwise, uh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing here. Uh, okay. That looks like, okay, so now I don't need uh, my name, actually. So I need to delete my name. So I'm gonna sub out, let's see. Roger, colon, space, oops, space, um, with um, nothing. Let's see what that hat does. Okay, I think I just have my utterances now. How many are there? 11,878, okay. Okay, so now I have to, so I wanna kind of get the statistical distribution essentially of, of everything I say. Um, and I need to figure out what's the best way to do that. I guess I need to tokenize everything. I need to kind of create some words here, right? So um, I know there's like packages to do this, uh, I know there's like the tidy text package and there's the, like the TM and whatever, but um, part of me feels like maybe I'll just do this without packages uh, and see if we can, uh, how far we can get. So, um, all right. So if I, I think the most straightforward thing is probably stir split. So let's see, Where's stir split. I realize the existence of packages is to make your life easier, but um, you know, why would you want to do that? Okay. So let's take this vector of um, things that I've said. I want to split them according to... Okay. Um... Uh, I guess I'm thinking space is probably the only the best thing. Let's see what's happening when I do space. And more, so maybe one or more spaces. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's see what that. Let's see. Sample. Let's just grab a random line of text here. Uh, okay, I can understand it too. That's... Hmm. Okay, so I got all this punctuation and stuff that I need to probably get rid of. Um, but otherwise, not so bad, right? You all are not a very chatty bunch, uh, but that's all right. That's fine. You don't have to be. Um, oh, this is a long one. Okay, I think I should. Okay, I think the transcription is probably not perfect, but <laughs> uh, it's not bad. Okay, so I think the main thing I want to do is get rid of punctuation here. Um, so um, what do I do there? So we're let's see. Words, I'll, I want to keep the raw data, so what I'll do is I'll unlist this. Hold on. This will make it a little bit straightforward, more straightforward. Okay, I've got 308,000 words. Um, then words two is obviously the successor to words. Um, so words two will get rid of punctuation. So I want to see, I want to G sub 
because I want to do this. It's potentially basically this is going to be stuff at the potentially in the beginning of the word, although I can't imagine what exactly, and maybe some punctuation at the end at the end of the word. So, um, how do you do? What's the regular expression for that? I don't want to get rid of like apostrophes in the middle of a word or stuff like that. So, um, so I need a non-letter or a non-number, right in the beginning. And um, I think I let's see. How do you do that? Is it character carrot a to z? So not a to z, a to z, or number. And then you want that kind of in the beginning, right? Or. Um, I guess I could just put the punctuation in there. Uh, okay, so, so it's going to be either stuff at the beginning or stuff at the end, right? So this is a horrible regex. Three, nine. Oops. Uh, and then that's going to be at the end. Parenthesis. Okay, so either one of those you want to replace with nothing. Uh, on words, and then uh, that's it, right? Let's see if that works. What the hell? No, don't do that. I didn't want to print out everything. Um, we'll see. Words. Let's see. Head. Words. Fifty. So okay. Oh, okay. Um, I think I see a problem here. Okay, so I've got like the word user here, and if I do words two, the period is gone. That's good. Okay, now I didn't anticipate the possibility that there would be quotations, in which case there might be more than one thing at the end. And so um, let's. How do you do more than one? Um, oh man, how do you do that? Um, Anyone have an idea how to do the regular expression for more than one pattern at the end? Uh, it's like, hmm. Let's see. I think it's going to be. I guess I could just run the whole regular expression again, but then, um, but then you know, what if there's three things at the end there? Uh, this is not a good way to do it. Let's see. Let's take a couple more examples here. Okay, it looks like it's doing okay. If I can't think of it in the next. 15 seconds or so, or if no one in the chat can tell me what, <laughs> how to do a repeated regular expression at the end, I might just run the whole thing again. Um, okay, otherwise it's looking okay. All right. Um, hmm. Isn't it something with curly? Is it with curly braces? Uh, I think it might be curly braces. So what if I did said like one, at least one, but no more than two, like that? Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, sorry, I'm just checking on the live stream here to see if it actually is still running. Sorry about this, hang on a second. Okay, it does appear to be running, good. All right, um, you never know with this kind of stuff. Okay. 
Um, let me just, uh, I think it was 50, right? Okay, well, I got rid of the second punctuation, so maybe, maybe that did do the trick. Um, let me just sample a few more. Maybe it looks okay. It looks like, I mean, the ellipsis stuff, I'm probably just going to have to live with it. Um, because then, because the ellipses, ellipses will have to be split, and then, and that, I don't know, it feels like more of a pain than I'm willing to go through right now. So, um, okay. So, now I've got my words, too. Um, maybe we could do a tab. Let's see. Let's do a quick tab here. Table words, too. And... Um, the w real question is, what word do I say the most often? So I want to sort tab. Decreasing. Wait. Decreasing. It's true. Head. Let's look at the top ten. All right. What do you think the number one word that I say is? It's probably oh, if it's if it's the word like, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Um, Hopefully it's the word and or something. Okay, it's the word I, which is, I guess, neither good nor bad. Like is number three, which is awfully near the top. Um, the, of, and, you, that, a, two. Okay, I think I can live with that. Um, okay, so... Oh, one thing I wanted to look at was kind of how long this goes up. So this is kind of going back a little bit. I wanted to look at kind of how long each one of my kind of phrases, each one of the phrases was. So um, the idea being that um, just kind of get a look at the distribution of kind of like how long I'm talking. Uh, so I think I can do that with this original. So like um, this, uh, no, that's not it. Um, I need, oh, I need the, uh, I lost it, let's see. Um, hmm. Oh no, oh, the original one, oh yeah, I can just do nchar on that. So if I do, well, wait, I want my words. Oh, I kind of want the un, the stir-splitted version. Oh, Hector, thanks for the regex. Um, uh, yeah, more than one. That would have been the logical thing to do. All right. <laughs> I think I, I really just overcomplicated it, so I could have just done um, plus here. Okay. Um, that means more than one. I guess, do I want more? Yeah, that doesn't really, I don't really, I don't really need to limit it with the curly braces. Um, all right, I think I screwed myself here because I didn't save the, let me just do this in, uh, so if I do stir split on words and then words, oh, see, I forgot words one. Words one will be on list words. And then I'll, this will be like this. See, this is perfect. This is why coming up with variable names is the hardest thing. So words, words one, and then words two seems to work. Okay. So words one, what is this? That is, oh, the unlisted version. Okay. Um, I want words. So if I do, L, if I do I supply words uh, length, all right? That, that should give me the distribution. Yes, okay. So uh, lens, I supply that, okay. And uh, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna base plot this action, see what the distribution looks like. All right, that's probably not surprising. I don't often say super long things, and I'm mostly saying kind of short things. Um, so let me just do a quick, quick summary on that. So my average is going to be something like, what do you think? Uh, see, the mean is 25 words, 20, or 26 words, minimum one. Okay, not surprising. Hey Donna, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for showing up. You're one of you know an elite few people here. So I'm just looking at how long I tend to say. So my longest, uh, what do you call these things? Utterance, I guess, is was 395 words. 
Uh, I wonder which one that was. Man, okay. Nine oh six five. So now I need to do an index into words. Nine oh six five. Oh, I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to read this. All right. Um, never mind. Okay. I probably don't know. I don't even know what episode that was in. Okay. So. Um, all right. So I think one one possibility. Uh, in terms of programming a kind of generator is we could maybe sample um, sample a length from say this distribute this histogram so like you know so randomly generate how long the utterance is going to be and then start um, uh, you know, producing words after that I think probably this maybe the only thing I can think of it right off the top of my head is to do like a Markov kind of generator so we have like a word um, and then given that word, what's the probability of the next word? And then given that next word, what's the probability of the word after that? I, I don't think we, so that's like a first order Markov kind of thing. Um, I don't know if we have enough data to do like a second order. So given two words, look at the third word or given, you know, uh, I don't think there's really gonna be enough data to do that. So maybe, but maybe we can just do a, a first order kind of thing. So um, so we have the, ta the tab up here is kind of like my marginal distribution. Um, and that tells me kind of uh, what the kind of marginal probability of every single word is going to be. Um, and I realize I do have quite a bit of extra punctuation in there. So, um, oh, you know what? I realize I didn't get kind of the. Hmm. Maybe I need a plus. I'm not sure the plus thing, let's see. Maybe I need a plus for the beginning stuff too. Um, oh, no, oh, never mind. I was looking at the uh, unprocessed data. That's why it, there's all this punctuation in there. Never mind. Okay. Um, so the tab gives me the marginal distribution, and I can just convert that to probabilities by kind of dividing by the, the total length. Um, so, okay, so we'll do like the marginal probability is, uh, oops, sorry, let's make it smaller, uh, tab divided by the sum of tab, uh, and I spelled probability wrong because it's the B, so improb. All right, so that gives me my marginal probability of every word. Oh, oh, you know what? Now I lost all the words though. Um, oh no, wait, there isn't the attribute here, okay. Um, so my unique words is comes from here, and then my prob, I'll just uh, come from here. So unique words is here, and probabilities come here. Okay. Now I could probably do something useful by like having something like I always start with a certain kind of word or something like that, but that seems, you know, advanced. So um, why don't we go into okay? I can. So I got my length distribution, right? Um, okay, I don't need that. So I got my length distribution. I got my marginal probabilities. So now I need to figure out the kind of um, first order probabilities here, right? So um, I think the easiest, hmm, what would be the easiest way to do that? I guess um, I can probably just take pairs of words. This is not gonna be super accurate, but you can see um, if I look at the words too, um, you can see I, I've got like pair, I can take pairs of words, basically do like a running pair type thing. Um, and probably estimate the probabilities using that. So I think I can just, let's see, if I, let's say E2, I want to embed uh, the, the uh, words two in a two dimensional thing here. So the way this works, so now I've got a matrix uh, of, uh, well, it's actually backwards, unfortunately. So maybe I need to, uh, do this two one like that. 
So now I can see the first row is, is kind of like the first pair, I think, and then the second row is the second pair, I think you've, and then you've told, etc. So it looks like this. So now I can say like all, all the words in the first column, conditional on that, what's the probability of being in this, of the second column, basically. Um, so I need to, but I need to kind of tabulate that. So I've got three, okay, so How do I, I need to tabulate that. So how many, is there, let's see, how many unique things are in the first column is really, um, 11, okay, that's good. So maybe we'll have actually have some data here. So um, this is the kind of thing where, hmm, how do I do this? I kind of need like a ragged array type structure here, or do I? Let's see. I guess the other possibility is that you could have like a matrix, uh, a, like a n by n matrix, which would be huge, uh, but that would give you every pairwise probability. Um, all right, maybe the first thing I can do is I can sort the first column. So I can I can sort everything by the first column. So order e two one. Oops. Wait, what happened here? Uh, one order close. There we go. Oh, we didn't like that. Okay. Um, so now I should have all the things grouped together, right? So I've got all the spaces followed by something. Um, uh, there are a lot of space. Okay, that's maybe a flaw. Um, <laughs> Let's see if I look at the tail here. Okay, so here's like, for example, the word zero followed by whatever it is followed by. So given, or zero, so given that uh, I use the word zeros, then I've only once ever used that, and then the following word was right. Um, and so the other one is like, for example, zone. I don't know why, this, yeah, so zones could be followed by or or two. Zoom is followed by it. Um, and then Zuccarelli, I'm guessing, is a wrong <laughs> transcription. Maybe it's Zuckerberg. Um, okay, Zealand, I, all right. Um, okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to take like each one of these groupings, like for example, zero, and then look at the kind of words that appear after them. So, uh, I could probably, I guess the easiest thing would be to split this first column and then grab the second column. Or split, sorry, split the second column by the first column. Um, so I'm running out of really good uh, variable names here. So we'll, do, we'll call this uh, improv, let's see, prob2. Let's call it prob2, yeah. Um, so we'll split the second column, e2. Two by the first column, e to one, and then what we should have is each. Oh, but you know, I've lost uh, the name. Well, let me have not lost the name. Okay. Um, yeah. So every time I use the word, um, those are numbers. 47, let's see, that's, oh wait, am I, did I just lose the, let's see, na uh, easiest thing would be to just look at the names. Okay, I didn't lose, okay, that's good, I didn't lose the names, I just kind of, there were a lot of numbers in the beginning. All right, um, I'm assuming you can all still hear me or see the live stream <laughs> because I haven't heard anything otherwise. Um, all right, yeah, so in the beginning there's all these numbers, which is probably, a issue with data processing. Oh, you know what it is? It's like the whole, if it's an audible, they put it in the timestamp, I think. So, oh well. Um, okay, numbers, numbers, numbers. Words, actual words, okay. Eh, it's not great, all right. Um, so I think the, and then the easiest thing, maybe the thing to do here, so then amongst these, I could look at, I could do like a probability distribution 
for words within a category. So if I let's let S apply um, here, oops, that's a bad idea. Um, thanks, Hector. Um, if I sort this. Uh, and then get the head. So after the word I, which is my most commonly used word, there are 11,757 possible other words. So the question is how I choose amongst those. I could do the probability distribution, I guess. Um, so yeah, why don't I do that? All right, so I'm gonna L apply over prob two. Um, and then within each one of these, I want to calculate, I want to tabulate x, tab table x, divided by the sum of, f. oh yeah, maybe I want, to, I want to do table x, and then I want to do tab x, well, as integer it, well, tab x, uh, so tab divided by the sum of tab as well. And that should give me probabilities. Um, yeah, so now I've got, after the word distinction, they've got this probably, this, this is the kind of the conditional distribution, the conditional word distribution, conditional on distinction. Uh, so let me sample another one. Uh, logos. You know what? Um, Don't worry about that X thing. Solver. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna be horrible. I can I can feel it. But uh, <laughs> and then the last thing I've got to do is I oh, actually I'm kind of wondering what if I did a kind of a second order type of thing. So let's see. E three embed words two three. Yeah, like this. Let's see what that looks like. There's probably not much. Um, so here's got there's like the, the two words and then the third column. So it's like given the first two, what's the third? Um, I'm guessing there's probably not much to do with to deal with here um, uh, because it's just not enough occurrences. Um, but if we did do that, just out of curiosity. Um, I think actually. So what happens if we order it here? E three. Then E three two. Uh, okay. Um, let me look at the tail. It's probably easier. Uh, okay. All right. Um, hmm. So I think I'm not gonna mess with this right now. It looks a little bit um, like there probably isn't a lot. Um, so, all right, we'll screw this. Um, so we'll go with the first order here. So we have the marginal probabilities, we have the first order probabilities, and we'll just kind of generate from that. So, um, okay. Let's see, generate phrase. We'll call that function. And uh, I guess it'll just, um, it won't take any inputs, right? Because it can sample from the, so the length of will be, so we'll sample from the length distribution. So we'll sample one, right? Is that what we want to do? Yeah. Yes. And let's just say that, eh, I guess it, it doesn't matter how long it is. Okay, so then we want to start. So we need a starting word. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just, it'll probably, every single time, it's just going to start with the word I, so, because uh, that's the number one word. But, uh, okay, we'll just try that anyway. So starting will be sample, uh, no, what is it? Uh, yes, sample U words. Um, and then with probability, oh yeah, I think I'm doing this wrong. Um, what are the arguments for sample? Sample, 
size equals 1, and then probability equals m prob, right? Of course, you have to spell the function name correctly. All right, so let's just see what happens here. Start if. Okay, all right. Computer. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, all right, whatever. Okay, so we've gotten rid of one word. So we'll loop through the remaining words. So for i in sequence len n minus 1. So if that is 0, I think it'll just skip the loop, which is what we want. Um, and I'm going to do this. Hmm. Should we do some error checking? I guess uh, it, I don't see how it's possible to, to get a negative number here um, because all the lengths are at least one. So I think let's forget the error checking. All right. So um, we want to generate words. So given the word, okay. So we need a list of, okay. So basically what I'm going to do here, I think, is I'm going to take the word um, and then go to my kind of first order probability list and say essentially index into that list and then given kind of like my current word is this, what's the distribution of words that I could be using? Um, and so I'm going to index into that list, that prob2 list, and then, and then draw a sample from, that, from the elements in that list. Um, now the issue is that what if the word doesn't exist? I guess it's not possible. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> Every time you say it's not possible, it's usually when it happens. So um, if the word is not in that list, then I need to do something. Probably just draw from the marginal probability. Um, so I'm, that's one bit of checking I probably want to do. So I want to get all the names. So if, um, hmm. so I need to know the current word. Um, so I need the current word is going to be start. Um, if the current word is not in the names of prop two, so I need to negate this whole thing, right? Bang negate. Then we're going to, so we want the next word, right? So the next word is going to be, we're just going to sample from, do the marginal probability. Okay. I don't, I honestly don't think that should ever happen. But, you know, this is a, okay, else we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to look up, we're going to index into the prop two. So we're going to sample, uh, so choice, let's see, the choices are prob2, no, wait. We're going to, prob2, those are probabilities. So we're going to, oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, did I do this right? Prob2. Okay, I did preserve the, <laughs> I was wondering if I actually preserved the names of the words. Okay, so that's good. Um, So for example, if my current word is Airbnb, then I will sample from this distribution here. So I think the way that's going to work is I will next word is going to be sample from the names of prob2 index with current word. Sample from the names. So I'm going to sample one. Oops. Oh no. Uh, current names. Sample one, and then with probability equal to prob two current. Right? Eh. Okay. Doesn't feel right, but whatever. All right. Then I've got my next word, and then I need to concatenate things. Um, Start is going to be um, I guess it would make sense to just do like call this phrase, right? And then phrase here. And then phrase is gonna be uh we're gonna concatenate these two together. Um, next word. 
All right, and then I'm going to return, do that, I'm going to loop through that and then return phrase. All right, okay, let's see if this works. It should work, right? Functions always work on the first try. Um, all right, generate phrase. Here we go. Oh no, that's bad. That's very, oh, you know, <laughs> okay. Part of me wants to just run this again to see what happens. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Wait, what happened here? Okay, you know what it is? I didn't reset the current word, right? Isn't that what? That's what I didn't do, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so after I get the next word and I've concatenated into my phrase, I need to reset the current word. Yes. Like that, right? Yes, okay, see? Things don't always work on the first try. It's whoever told you otherwise was lying. Okay, generate phrase. Person who wrote the last four issues is a few, okay, this is too long, let's get a shorter one. Um, okay, I think if anything yet, I think. Uh, Hmm, does that sound like me? Let's see, maybe the community, so many Japanese cars. Hmm. I guess one of the issues here is that we, there is no punctuation. Um, so it's kind of hard to read. It could be the you know, ones that you, you get the end of the sentence and then the beginning of a sentence. All right, every day, sure, always, fine. Okay, maybe we should limit, put limits on the length of the phrase here. Um, Grinds away because you don't think of other contexts like when it wasn't there. So they talk about it, depends a piece of like, think that, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks Donna, this is uh, <laughs> it's very encouraging. <laughs> All of you, I can't believe, um, are encouraging me, okay. Um, <laughs> All right, this doesn't like, you know, okay, let's put a length, let's put a limit on a length, because this is ridiculous. We can't have like a 73 word phrase here. So um, let's, oh, this is gonna get ugly. So you words, let's say greater than three. Yeah. And you words less than 20, let's say. Sure, yeah, why not? Okay, so this will, and now we've truncated the, the distribution. And now I've got a bug, okay. Um, I appreciate you all hanging out with me <laughs> for all this time. Um, what happened here? Uh, okay, how do you debug? First do trace back. Uh, in the sample of this. Clearly it's something that I did recently because um, So do you want to keep periods and question marks in? No, I kind of removed all the periods and question marks way back when, so there aren't going to be, there isn't going to be any like punctuation. Um, let's see what is wrong with this phrase here. Oh, well there's nothing there. That's, um, oh you know what? I subsetted the wrong thing. That was the very wrong thing, okay. Um, I want to sub set to the lengths, not the words themselves. So lens, lens greater than three, and lens less than twenty. Okay, that's that should work. All right. Bit of course there were. Yeah, the problem is that like <laughs> one of me because I hear something. Separating data, but I may end up the. Uh, see, the problem is there's no like logical ending or starting, so I probably need to do something about like ending and starting, uh, because otherwise it just looks like you grab something in the middle of a sentence. Um, okay. I only, let's see how much time do I have. Um, all right. What do you think I should do? Any suggestions? Any suggestions from the chat? Okay. Uh, 
I guess one suggestion would be, would be to like get a real algorithm, uh, but um, that's really not any fun though, because then you don't get to program it. Um, all right. Okay. So. I think, okay, if I want to do beginnings of phrases, I would have to go back into the data um, and get the, because I kind of lost all the beginnings uh, when I unlisted everything. So um, one thing I could do is go back here. All right, first I need more water. All right, I think from the streaming that I've seen, it seems like drinking something is very important. So I've got my, you know, water here. So very important. Um, okay, I think I, it, I think it seems like maybe it's important to get the beginning right. Maybe the end, not so much. But um, let's see if we can grab the beginnings out. So if I want to get, let's say I want to grab the distributions of the first, I don't know, first two words of every phrase. So I would have to go back to which vector here? What am I looking at? I need, I think I need this vector, right? So what if I stripped out every, okay. Oh, actually I can use this thing here. Um, right, so I can just, I can go through this list and pull out the first two words um, of every element, all right? So let's do that. Okay, so I'll call it start two because it's the start starting two words. So L if I, what do I do? Uh, L apply. From words function x and then x is going to just pull out the first two words like that. Oops. Sorry. Okay, start to I think okay, perfect. All right. Now Okay, so now instead of say drawing from the marginal probability of words when I start the phrase, I can just draw from this uh, probability distribution. Um and it'll be like a legit starting phrase. It won't be an original one, um, but it will be representative, I suppose. Um, okay, let's see if we can get away with that. So uh, phrase is gonna be now sample from the, Uh, uh, let's, do, let's see, sample, start two, one, I get, I get a list back, so I need to, uh, yeah, okay. Um, start two, uh, one, and then one like that. Okay, so if I sample the starts, then I get my phrase, but I only want to keep the first, the last word of that starting, so I need to, uh, All right, so my current is going to be the second word, like this, all right? And then I want to join. No, I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay. So then I think I'm, I think that works. Let's see. Sure, why not? Let's just roll with it. Um, All right, year to be nuts. Oh, okay. Well, so I bring up everyone's data comes to. Mm, yeah, okay. It's a little bit better, let's say. Um, well, actually, <laughs> all right, that is uh, probably <laughs> how I might start a phrase. Uh, been this movie, and I think it was a good point that I have to do the unboxing. Hmm. <sighs> all right. Now, okay. I guess the, I mean, the like, most raw thing to do would just be to sample from the actual phrases. Uh, <laughs> that would get actual phrases. But 
I, I kind of wanted to generate some sort of randomness in here and not just kind of like, you know, draw from the distribution of the data. But uh, obviously without any sort of kind of grammar model, it's not going to be so great. Um, uh, Donna, I'm glad, glad you're enjoying this. Uh, um, let's see. I think, you know, if I were to present these phrases to Hillary on the podcast, she would probably be able to figure out which one was a generated and which one was real. So um, hmm, it's going to be more of a challenge than I thought. Okay. Well, we could do the two-word distributions. Let's see. Um, we did go through that, right? So E2. Uh, oh, we did E3, right? So let's see if that... Let's see how that well that would work. So if I embed words two into uh, a three space, and then I split. So I'm going to prop three is going to be split. Oh wait, hold on a second. I need to create. Uh, okay, uh, my split factor is going to be kind of pasting um, the first two columns of this. So if I look at E three. I want to paste the first two columns together, um, and then uh, E3 first column, E3 second column, and then these will be the phrases, right? And then I want to split the third column based on that. So E3 three, you gotta love the variable names here. It could not possibly get any better. Okay, um, so now the length. This is I'm guessing this is gonna be pretty long. Yeah, ninety thousand. It's a lot longer than the second order, or the, sorry, <laughs> the numbers are a little bit off. So the first order probability is it was like 11,000, I think. Um, yeah, so the third, the second order, <laughs> okay, this is why you should name your variables uh, <laughs> in a, like a totally rational manner. Uh, the second order probability is there's so many more, right? So uh, this, that's an indication that there isn't like a ton of data. Um, so let me just sample one of these. Um, so place is I is followed by don't or mean. Important discussion is only followed by and. Um, selling your data. <laughs> That's a sign of our times if, if ever I saw one. Um, aspects in terms. See, all these are just one word. Um, you know, from first, <laughs> this is funny, from first, from first is usually followed by principles. Um, yeah, see, these are all one. Well, okay, so I mean, I think it's not like super exciting, um, but it, um, yeah, these are all just one word things. Um, but, you know, maybe it'll work um, five at a time here. Okay, let's, let's, let's give it a shot because, you know, that's what we're about here, giving it a shot. Okay. Um, So I'm going to start with one. So I guess I'm not. I'm so at some point I'm not really going to be using the first order probabilities. I'm just going to use them once. So I'm going to. I sample my starting phrase. So that's already two words there. So actually I probably don't even need the um, the prop two stuff. I just go straight to prop three. So I can go. I can sample my phrase from the start vector. And uh, and we know they're going to be at least four words long. Because I truncated the distribution. So um, I'm going to, let's see, sample and then, okay, my current is just going to be the phrase, right? Oh, no, I got to paste these together. Okay, paste and then collapse equals space, right? That's what I want, right? So if I do phrase like this, where can, and I paste them together, Yes, and I see. So if I do prob three current like this, I should get some distribution, right? Okay, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I am. Oh, you know what? There was a bug in here. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you all didn't catch it, okay? I'm a little disappointed. Um, <laughs> so, wait, no, is that a bug? Wait, if I have N words, I just wanna cycle down to the bottom. No, okay, forget it, not a bug, all right. Uh, I just thought, 
given the n that I have, I'm just gonna keep going until, but I think I need to go n minus two now, right? Because I start with two words. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, I guess what was happening is that I was creating phrases that were actually n plus one uh, length rather than n, but I suppose it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so I'm starting with a phrase that's two words long, and then I'm going to uh, index them in here. So here's, this is a little bit trickier. Okay, so if current is in prop three, if it's not in this probability distribution that I have, then I will sample, I would just sample from the marginal like before. Otherwise, the next word is going to be from this prop three distribution and I'm just going to sample the words. Forget about this probabilities. Okay. So I'm going to sample from prop three, current, one, and that's it, basically. Um, I don't, no need to overcomplicate it. All right. Then I'm going to tack on the next word. Yeah. What happens if I paste? Do I want to paste this stuff? Let's see. Paste current. And then the, let's see. Oh, that does, okay. So what I want to do is I want to paste my current phrase to the next word. And the separator is by default going to be the space, so that's fine. And then my, oh, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> my current has to be like the shift over the next two words. How do you do that? Um, okay. Um, so maybe, hmm. okay, maybe I need different things here. So I, my current index is going to be this pasted thing. So my current phrase is this, uh, my current index is that. That's what I can use to look up um, here. Um, and then, so I got my next word. I can, my phrase, okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna paste. I'm gonna see the phrase on next word. And then the current index will be, see where this is going, right? Phrase. Okay, I'm gonna paste. The last word in the phrase, no, the last two words is gonna be the next, in, is the current index, right? So uh, maybe the easiest way to do that is with the tail function and then two, right? Okay. Current, okay. Should this work? I mean, who knows? Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's just let it rip here. Um, oh no, okay, that was bound to happen. Um, okay, so current index, oh no, that needs to be pasted together, yes, paste collapse equals space. There we go. I didn't, I didn't that, that has to be a single string. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I, it, of course, all that data has been like three or so he wanted. <laughs> okay, well, interestingly, it doesn't really feel like it's all that much better than this, the kind of first order probability model. So this is now with taking two words at a time and predicting the third. It doesn't really feel like <laughs> it's that much better. This feels like to say that I don't. Okay, that could work. Um, yeah, and I th and think about it. And now it's called the p stat. I think their response. 
Okay. I guess the w one way to make this sound real is for me to kind of just introduce some punctuation just for the for the sake of it. Um, but um, okay. We Spotify a kind. No, and <laughs> missing value. That's that's a not a good sign. Okay. No, no. Close that. Actually, that sounds real. Okay. Yeah, but kind of selection process of kind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I use it. <laughs> okay, one more little piece of syntactic kind of nicety here. Maybe I can just paste the final phrase together. So that's all one word, all one sentence. Um, that you don't want. That's a real sentence, but they're really advocates for patients owning their health information, which I have no idea about it. Yeah, yeah, I see. Well, that could be <laughs> that one sounds kind of real, actually. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I settings a did no. This is this is bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this hasn't been getting a little uncomfortable with the. Oh, that that sounds like it's kind of real. Uh, that health information one was uncanny though. Um, all right, I don't think any, I think it's working right, and so, hmm. All right, I could feel like, eh, okay, that one works. In the near future, we'll revisit the topic of every topic, yeah, yeah, I don't have it until I found a really simple way. I must say, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in response to, I don't know, something a lot, because it's funny how it always seems to come together. Okay, this one is, like, near possible but uh who knows Hector approves of one of these things I think uh, I'm not sure which one <laughs> all right let's do one or two more yeah I just must into and so that they no. this one's bad uh, and either publicly or privately so that's right mm -hmm. that's a reasonable phrase yeah we feel okay Yes or no accidents, then will the problem, then well, the problem was that subtle, yeah, all right. All right, I'd say like one in five is probably okay. Let's see. So it's like bot stopped, you resolve, no, that's, wow, that's really bad. Uh, well, I, a data analysis, it's also really bad. That's true, I, is guess car, no, that's really bad. That's a fact, and second degree is not really data science as a hurricane, basically, so you could implement, but uh, it's funny, because it seems like the longer ones are in some ways better, I guess. Maybe if I truncated the distribution in a different place, it would feel more real. So what if I, let's see, said at least eight, let's say, and then we'll, the max length will be like, I don't know, 40, let's say, uh, 30, let's say. All right. So with it, I mean his, I say, I think his proprietary feature. Uh, and I think in episode one, time where no. It's easier to control exactly what you're totally fine, right? Well, thanks to everyone when they try. That one, uh, it's close, I guess. Um, all right, well, <laughs> at this point, I'm kind of out of ideas for how to make this better without actually doing like a ton more work. Um, I guess, hmm. I've got the two word, I guess one thing is, um, I mean, I think you want to, generally speaking, you could, we could kind of look at characteristics of each of all the phrases that kind of make them different, and you know, do some regression modeling or something like that. But I think at the end, I think at the end of the day, there's uh, there's not quite enough data. I mean, the corpus is not super big, um, and um, we probably can't get a lot of features out of the data that would allow for you know that kind of modeling. Um, so. I think this is going to be it.
for now at least. It, I, it didn't turn out to be quite as long as I thought, but um, I'm going to have to leave it there because I don't really have any ideas. Unless people in the chat have like ideas that they want me to try, uh, I'd be willing to give it a shot if I understand what you're talking about. And I, I just want to say I appreciate everyone like sticking in or hanging in here for the whole time um, for my very first stream because it's like, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, um, but it seems to be working okay. It seems to be alive on YouTube. So, all right. I'm not getting any. I know that, okay, so there is a delay. So, I'll wait for suggestions to come. But if I don't get any suggestions, then I'm just going to probably close up shop here. Um, uh, let's see. There's, I'll, I'll just keep generating some. You're welcome, Donna. I'm happy to do this. I'm hoping to do more of these. They won't all be like random text processing data analyses. Um, and uh, I'll probably open it up to more people. Um, hey, Jenna, how are you doing? <laughs> um, it's I'll probably do some more like actual data. I just like I, I didn't want to like pull up a fit, like a clinical trial data set for the first time um, because then I would have to like explain everything that's going on in the data set, and that just takes time. So um, I'll probably just but I'll probably do more. I'm hoping to do more of these in the future and open it up to more people. So uh, I appreciate you all joining. Uh, and uh, bearing with me uh, well, as I test this out. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. So I'm going to close the stream now, and thanks everyone for joining.